Hi, I'm Katie from Bantu Media and I'm going to show you how to create a library of ebooks in WordPress. At the end of it, you'll have something very much like this on my example page. And you can see that each ebook is listed in a table and there are downloadable buttons where people can click to download the ebook in PDF format or whatever. And I'll show you how to add different types of content to the link. So you might have just a text link, you might have icons like this, you might have a button. I'll show you how to do all of that. Then you can choose what columns of information are displayed about your ebooks. For example, you might want people to be able to sort by publisher or a year or something like that or author. And I'll also show you how to have filters above your list of ebooks uh, so that people can filter the list that way. So lots of features and it's very simple to set up. And we're going to do it with one of our plugins which is called Post Table Pro. Now this is a plugin which can display any sort of WordPress content in a table layout just like the one that we've seen here. And I'll also show you how to use a free plugin to create the overall structure for creating your ebooks in the first place, which you will then display using Post Table Pro. Now, before you start this tutorial, I expect you to have a WordPress website already set up with a theme. And you also need to create a way to store your ebooks in the back end of the website. So on my website, I'll just go into the admin now. I have created a custom post type called books. And I did this using a free plugin called pods. Now pods is a hugely popular free plugin. And I've written a separate tutorial about how to create a books custom post type and also any extra fields that you want to store about your ebooks. So if you go to, if you search for barn to media pods in Google or something, you will find this tutorial, which is very comprehensive and shows you exactly how to set up your books custom post type, which will add a book section to the admin and also any extra fields about your books that you want to store. So that might be a custom field for adding the button or it might be custom taxonomies, uh, which you would use to add things like author, year, publisher, anything that you might want to source or filter the table of books by. So use the pods plugin to create a custom post type with any extra fields. And then you can go into your WordPress admin as I have done here and start adding your eBooks to your website. Now to do that, first of all, I'll show you one that I've already done. So let's go into an eBook that I've already added and I'll show you what fields I filled in so that you can do the same when you create your eBooks. So all I've done is go to the custom post type, which I created using pods, which is books, and then add new. So do the same for each of your eBooks. So for mine, I've added a title at the top and a description. All this is optional. You don't have to fill in any of these fields. I'm just what you need. I've created several custom taxonomies using pods. I've created one for series, one for rating, publisher, and date. And I've also um, made the featured image option available to my custom post type for books, which is one of the options available in POS when you create your custom post type so that I can upload an image for each ebook. And finally, here we've got a custom field which I created using POS and I've called it buy. And here is where I'm going to add my buy buttons to the table of ebooks so that people can, um, it's actually not that accurate to call it buy because you might just want to download it, but you can do it for whatever you want. It could be a PayPal button or something which people could use to buy the ebook, or it could be something different such as just a download button or download link or an icon or whatever. And incidentally, if you do want to actually sell your ebooks, then um, I've created a separate tutorial video about how to sell ebooks using e commerce and another one about how to sell ebooks using easy digital downloads. So, this particular tutorial is about how to use WordPress to list ebooks um, without real e commerce functionality. Like I said, you can stick in some PayPal power buttons if you want, but it's not true e commerce in the same sense. Use my other tutorials to um, actually do a full e commerce ebook store. And if you go to the written tutorial, which I will link to immediately underneath this video, then you can see um, it's a huge tutorial, tons of stuff in it. This is the written tutorial for this video that you're watching now. And I'll go through how to 
create a normal ebook library just with download links, which is what I'm showing you right now, but also how to do the e-commerce side of things. So if you want a full e-commerce, then probably stop watching this video now and go to one of the others instead. So let's carry on with how to create the non e-commerce ebook library. So sorry for that diversion. So here we've got a download link. Now I'm going to talk for a minute now about how to add the download link because there's different ways to do it. Uh, for my custom field that I'm going to use for the download links, I have created the um, what you see is what you get visual editor type of custom field. When you create a custom field in pods, there's lots of different options like text only, number, and also the um, WYSIWYG visual editor here. So choose the visual editor because it makes it easier to add your download link. So the easiest option, I'll just copy my PDF link here, so that's my PDF, so I'll delete that. The easiest option is to just add a normal link in WordPress. So let's go download. Um, and then we're going to add the media, click add media and find your download. You can either upload it to the media library now or if you've already got it as I have, select it and click insert into post. And um, then you can rewrite the link to whatever you want. So let's call it download there. So that's just a simple way to add a downloadable link using the add media button. If you want to be a bit cleverer, then you can add the code for a button. Now in my theme, I have a class which is um, within the code for the link. So what I did there was I clicked the source code um, or text view for my custom field. You need to write class equals, in my theme it's btn button, but that may not be the code for your theme. So you may want to ask your theme author how to create buttons in that theme because they're all different. So if you know the HTML to create a button in your theme, then you can do that and that will create a clickable button. Another option is to add an icon and I'll show you that next. Um, now, your theme may come with icons, which you can insert directly into a visual editor field here. Um, if you don't, and I didn't with my theme, then you can use a handy plugin, which is free again, called Better Font Awesome. And I've installed Better Font Awesome, and it adds this insert icon button above the WordPress toolbar. So I'm going to click on that now, and then see it lets me choose from lots and lots of different icons. So. Let's see if I can find a download one. Um, probably helps a search, wouldn't it? Yep, so let's add a download icon and that adds this. And I want to surround it with a link. So I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to paste in the link. So I just use the normal insert link option in WordPress. So there are various different ways to add the downloadable link so that people can access the ebook itself and download it. And then I'm going to update it. And the next thing I want to do is to go to Pages, Add New. And what we're going to do now is use the Post Table Pro plugin to actually create our library of eBooks. So we've added the eBooks in the back end of our website. Now we display them in a library on the front end. You're going to need the Post Table Pro plugin to do this, uh, which you can get from our website at barn2.co.uk. And once you've installed Post Table Pro uh, with the instructions that you'll get in the email when you get it, uh, that's the time to create a new page and call it what you want. I'm going to call mine ebook library. And what we're going to do is add a very simple short code to the page, which is open square brackets and then it's posts underscore table. And I'm going to tell Post Table Pro now what type of post I want to display. As you know, I want to list my ebooks, which are the books custom post type that I created now. If you've forgotten what you actually called your custom post type, go back into the pods admin section uh, within your WordPress admin and check that because you need to have the exact right syntax here to display your ebooks. So I'm going to write post underscore type equals and then within quotation marks, my custom post type is called books. Yours might be called something else. So make sure you check that. And um, that will probably do for now. Let's just close the short code and preview the page. This isn't going to be my finished ebook gallery, but as you can see, it's already listing all my ebooks within a table. But some of the, uh, I, the columns aren't that relevant. This is the date that I added the ebook to the website. 
which isn't very relevant. And the author is actually the WordPress user that created that custom post, which isn't the author of the ebook. That's not relevant either. So let's go back to our short code and tell Post Table Pro which columns we want to display. So we write columns equals, and within quotation marks again, I'm going to specify which columns I want to include in the ebook library. Uh, there's lots and lots of available columns. It's all the standard post data you get with WordPress and also various extras such as custom fields and taxonomies that you might have created using pods. So use the Post Table Pro knowledge base to find the exact list of columns that are available. And for now, I'm going to add some popular columns that are relevant to most ebook libraries. So first we want image, which will add the featured image for each of our ebooks title, which is the book title that you add at the top up here. Um, next, I'm going to show a custom taxonomy. To show a custom taxonomy, you have to write tax colon and then the name of that taxonomy as you created it within pods. And I'm going to show publisher. Um, you probably saw that I added some others as well, such as series and year and things like that. But let's keep it simple for now and just show one of each type. But you can have as many different columns as you want for different fields, custom fields, taxonomies and everything. And finally, I'm going to show a custom field column, um, which is CF colon. And I called mine by, as I mentioned earlier. Um, so that's that. So to show you what it's like, let's stick in the content as well. So I've added content, which will be the main content, uh, which is the description of each of my eBooks. Um, I'm finally going to add one more thing to the short code, which is short codes equals true. And the reason I'm doing that is because I have used some HTML content and short codes within my buy field for the ebooks, as you saw earlier. So I added the HTML for some hyperlinks and buttons and also some icons that people can click on. And those things um, all require actual rendering in the table to display them properly. Adding short codes equal to true tells Post Table Pro to display them in that way. So let's preview the page again. As you can see, this looks much more like a proper WordPress ebook library now. We've got all the columns that we wanted. We've got the image of each ebook. We've got the title, which currently links through to the single ebook page. And you can um, disable that link if you want. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. We've got the main content or description of the ebook. We've got the publisher and you can actually click on that to filter by the different publishers and because it's a taxonomy. And we also have the column where we added the different download links and icons and buttons. So let's just click on one of those now. As you can see, it's opened up a PDF file, which isn't a proper ebook, but you can see where I'm going with that. I'm just going to show you a few more tweaks that you can make to your ebook library before we finish. So what I want to do is add a filter or maybe more than one filter above the table so that people can find the ebooks they're looking for more easily. And I'm also going to disable the link to the single ebook page. The reason I'm going to disable the link is because it requires quite a lot of technical know-how to show custom fields and taxonomies on a single post page in WordPress. So um, for the purposes of this tutorial, which is aimed at non-technical users, I'm just going to show you how to show your custom fields and taxonomies within Post Table Pro, not on the single post page, which would require template changes and things like that. So we're going to disable the link so that people cannot access the single post page behind that because it's all in this table and that's all your users will need. So we're going to go back to the short code and I'm going to write filters equals and then we want to list all the filters that we want to show. So that might be tags, it might be custom taxonomies and that and so for now I'm going to add some taxonomies. So I'm going to add publisher and I'm going to add, let's add another one, um, series because I've added several. Um, so that will show the filters above the table. Now when you show filters above the table, you might want to hide some elements like this um, just to keep it neat up here. So I'm going to add page underscore length equals false and that just means that the only things above my table are going to be the filters and the search box and nothing else which keeps it simple and next I'm going to tell the table what links to display so I'm going to write links equals and 
If I wanted none, nothing in the table to be clickable, then I would write links equals none, and that would disable all the links from all the columns. But actually, I want to make, keep this column clickable. Um, I'll just preview the page to show you. Um, I want this column to be clickable. So by adding li links equals none, I have lost all of the links except for the ones added in my custom field because I added them manually, of course. But all the automatic links have been disabled. So I want this to be clickable so that you can click on a publisher to filter by that taxonomy. To do that, we go links equals terms. And links equals terms will tell the taxonomy columns to be clickable, but not any of the others. So people cannot access the single book page, but then that's how that will work. And the other thing I'm going to do is you might have noticed that my images didn't look very good because they're portrait images, like many books are, book covers, but they're square pictures. So let's make it a more portrait format. So I'm going to write image underscore size equals, and I'm going to choose 60 by 97, which is in pixels. And that I happen to know that that's the right size for my images, but you can experiment with different image sizes. So let's preview the page again now. And as you can see, we now have um, this uh, column is clickable, but this column is not. So you can filter by publisher, but you can't click through to the single post page, the single book page. And also you see that the images of the book covers now fit, so nothing's being cropped off. So there you have it. You've created a complete WordPress ebook library, which can have downloadable links or any types of buttons or icons or even PayPal buttons click linking through to the download link. It's a really good way to present ebooks in WordPress because you've got so many available on one page and people can quickly use the filters and the search box to find the ebooks that they're looking for. So really flexible solution. Um, to do it, you need the Post Table Pro plugin, which you can get from our website at barntoot.co.uk. And it comes with full support in setting up your ebook library. So feel free to get in touch if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.